Warning this video contains minimal uses of profanity and uncomfortable pauses to compensate for lack of professionalism and original thought. This video can induce seizures for people with epilepsy. Viewer discretion is advised. Do you know why we're here? Do I look like I know why we're here? I'm, I'm Eva, by the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> why are we here? Viva, love, nice to meet you. Yeah, I know. Okay. It's a note. Great. Have no fear, the end is near. The beginning of something special. You all have great potential. You have been chosen to be the ones to open. This will not be as easy as fractions, but get out the camera. It's lights, camera, action. Well, this guy really has a way with words. What does it mean, though? I think we've been chosen for something. What gave that away? Chosen for what, though? Maybe it's like a social experiment. That's it. I'm done. Good luck. What, are we locked out? Can't wait to see what this says. Oh, this day can't get any better. It has started without you even knowing. The show has begun, the cameras have been rolling. You three must become friendly. You are the editors of the Video Yearbook 2023.
TJ Kiley driving his car into the parking lot pole. Uh, Someone say this was embarrassing. Uh, I was chasing my target, Caroline Brady, <laughs> at uh, her lacrosse practice, and I was running so fast, my legs gave out, and I slipped and I in front of both girls and boys lacrosse teams. And Moses, I ate slid down the bleachers. And did a penguin, penguin dive down the bleachers. That was pretty comedy. This was about a year ago. We were all at Josie's house having a good time. I was taken into another room by Mia Kinzani, <laughs> and uh, we made a few take talks. And when I woke up in the morning, I was pretty embarrassed. <laughs> okay, my most embarrassing moment <laughs> is um, when I had a seizure. <laughs> Definitely freshman year when I um, was in Miss Finnegan's class, yeah. and she was out of the room, and the phone rang, so I answered it, <laughs> and they said. Um, Mia Quinzani to the office, and I was like, uh, that is that. speaking. Um, and then when I went to the office, uh, Suds, back when, wait, no, was it Suds first? Mr. Sudmeyer was our principal freshman year, too, so he called Mia down, because Mia was doing the same thing. First, yeah, Suds um, <laughs> told me that I was there for Suds. identity theft, <laughs> and he told us that we were being, um, we were doing identity theft or <laughs> what I've been doing, doing, doing identity identity and <laughs> that um, we could no longer use it and we were banned from the Shack 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 for a year. So. Yes. Um, do you know what identity theft is? And I was like, uh. <laughs> and it was because me and Ava had been um, buying bagels every single day on Josie's <laughs> school account because Nani or Papa and Dee actually <laughs> failed the account with so much, so money much money that Josie hadn't spent it. So she told us we could buy like stuff every day. So me and Ava would buy bagels for uh, us and, and others. <laughs> I don't know the total that I spent on her account, but I had to say it's over like at least $300. <laughs> <laughs> Our freshman year when we were changing the music for field hockey, for varsity field hockey, we thought we were so cool. And we climbed all the stairs oh, to go so change the music. Yeah. <laughs> and Emily fell down all 20 points oh, of stairs. Every, every, single, every step. single step. Every she single step. Every single step. Every single step. Every single step. I was went, so yeah. Okay, my most embarrassing story was, was it homecoming. I woke up <laughs> the day after homecoming in Joey Williams' bed with, like, <laughs> Kylie, like, like, hi, honey, are you okay? <laughs> morning like my dad had just called Kylie told me told her that she needed to pick he needed to pick me up I actually had to go an hour later to put my dog down so. <laughs> good night for me we have a guest star for this one most embarrassing guest star for me it's like almost failing function stats and shrink but I finished with a C plus yes okay. <laughs> Wow. All right. All right. Yeah. Do you have to put this in? Hi, everyone. Most embarrassing moment. Most embarrassing moment. Even if you are not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. Sir, fix I do work. Work six of my might. He's out of sight. Whoa.
Feldman, and I approve this message. All I gotta say is, let's get the next one. Yeah! Say! Yeah! Fix yeah. that, do work! In the throne, don't let me into my zone. Don't let me into my zone. I'm definitely in my zone. the race for the shot and scores. Keeper came out of comes in from the right side of victory with a solid performance. Uh, some nasty weather in the beginning, finishing up with a.
dreams. Do you have my permission to film me at this time? Do I have your permission? So connecting with Lucy, um, on the first day of freshman year, <laughs> I plucked a white bug. I had an itch on my yeah. head. And I plucked a white bug out of her head and just flicked it away. And uh, I actually had head lice yeah, the first day of freshman year. She <laughs> so I just got my license and I was driving two of my friends during DSP to Starbucks. They've, just, they've, they've graduated now. Um, <laughs> And there was construction. It was a little bit dewy out to set the scene. And the, the day I got my license, my dad was like, your brakes are really bad. They're really bad. They don't, we need to get new ones. Excuse. So, yeah, excuse. Excuse. Yeah. Excuse. So we were driving to Starbucks, whatever. There was construction, so it was a one laner. We were coming back, and I noticed I was behind Amelia Harris's car. And I was like, oh, and it was like Amelia Harris, Mia Quinzani, Cameron Rankin, I think Abby Roach, too. I don't know who else was in the car. But the, we get back to the construction site. It's a one lane. The guy jumps out and is like, stop, to Amelia. She stopped short. I slid right into her, rear-ended her. Yeah. <laughs> I got bopped at a hockey game. So. Stay on trend with the car accidents. Oh. Um, I was a victim during school this year. That was pretty bruh. Um, I just remember that she... I was like, oh, is everyone okay, blah, blah, blah. Not to her, because hadn't, we haven't gone out of the car yet. And she gets out of her car. Cameron jumps out of the car. Eats, <laughs> sorry to swear. And, like, is trying to climb over the, like, guardrail to get away. Because, like, obviously she was on her JOL as well. And so I'm like, oh, my God. And then Amelia gets out of the car. Her car isn't, like, in park. So it's going off up to where Cameron's, like, crawling right now. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I get out of the car and I'm like, put your car in park. After, like, before telling her, like, are you okay? I'm sorry to hate you. So put your car in park. And so she puts her car in park or whatever. When I got hit by a car the summer after freshman year, and then I explained the story about 20 times incorrectly and differently, and um, the numbers were a little bit juiced on some of them, and then all the time it was a little bit juiced. And then, numbers. Yeah, the numbers <laughs> were, were interesting. But yeah, I definitely was say that's my the car hit me at 80 miles an hour. The car hit me at 80 miles an hour. Was it five? It flew 100 yards. And all of a sudden, I'm outside, like, just talking to people, and someone comes out to me and was like, Your washing machine is broken. And I was like, What? And so I walk inside. I walk into the laundry room door, and there's just like 10 different people swarmed around my washing machine. And I look inside, and it's just flooded, like filled with it water. Like and it, like, yeah, it, it looked, looked like, like vomit. It looked disgusting. And I was like, what happened? And people were telling me that like people threw up in it and everything. Lots of different oh, things. I remember that. And yeah. we find out that a cookbook was taken from my kitchen, like my favorite cookbook, <laughs> put, <laughs> Who has a favorite cookbook? <laughs> put in my washing machine. And like someone ran it. It was like entirely shredded. It was like entirely just shredded, shredded paper. We were it was like scooping. paper mache. I totaled my car in front of half the grade <laughs> at the school. Um, Adelaide was benched the no whole season. Okay, as a senior right. captain. <laughs> so then I got our license suspended for two months, and then I got my license back before she did, and I felt really bad about it because I was like, "Whoa, license Wait, back what? tomorrow." <laughs> Because mine processed with a DMV before her, hers did, so I was like, oh my god, like yesterday, like a year ago yesterday, I was like, woo, why isn't back tomorrow? And she was like, I don't have mine tomorrow. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I think she hates me, but I'm really sorry <laughs> about that. Wow. I uh, was accused of being a racist for quoting Martin Luther King when organizing a DSB protest. And I just want to say for the record, I am sorry. Me and Omac went to a Celtics game, and we went to go to our seats in the balcony, and we sat down right next to Mr. and Mrs. Murphy and their kids. <laughs> this oh, ties into Sally. Speaking of the rumors, let's get into uh, my biggest bro moment. <laughs> Segway. Set the scene. We are at um, <laughs> the Milton football game. One to remember. One to one for the books. And I'm getting some reports, you know, the washing machine incident is brought to light again. And I'm getting some reports, you know, I heard it was that random sophomore boy who's standing at the top of the stands over there. You can say I was like, no, can I swear? Yeah, yeah I'll just edit it, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no way, no way. So I'm, I'm, getting really, <laughs> I'm getting really pissed off. And so I go over to, I'm standing on the ground, on the bottom of the stands, he's in the top row on the very end, and I start 
screaming at this kid. I was like, we tried to kick you out. You weren't supposed to be there. You're so bold. Yeah, because he showed up. I, right now, you asking that question was my biggest bra moment. <laughs> Can we? Uh, I'd say uh, St. Patty's Day Parade last year. We were, like, with some, like... <laughs> 28 to 30 year old people for some reason. Oh well, no! Yeah, we jumped into their we jumped into, their, we, jumped into their, we jumped into their yard and they were like telling us to come oh, into their yard. It was so like we a jumped over the fence. Yeah, it was like it was some frat house. Right, we were like, at a time, bro. Yeah, so, up thanks. And then, and then um, I uh, I don't know. We got in a little confrontation. And this guy kept punching me in the face, like jabbing Can't. me, and that was I was like, bro, like. Show our face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> I'm a, I, I'm a minor, my guy. <laughs>
parking lot shenanigans after school every day. I'm gonna miss everyone here, I guess I have to say that. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, and just interrupting every single teacher's classes. Like, Ooh, trying to sneak out during DSB. I'd say like escaping for DSB. Football games. Um, yeah. Our yeah. friends. Yeah. Friends. Like, oh wait, that's Real something car. I'm gonna miss. Poop. Driving yeah. Yeah. Poop. Actually, that is true. That poop doesn't start anymore. For <laughs> Not having a lot of responsibility. Just like being a kid. Yeah. <laughs> like easy. <laughs> I guess one of the things I'll miss is just like the small school dynamic. Like when you walk around the halls, you see like all these kids. You know all of them. I guess when you go up to college, you don't like you're filled with like random people that you don't know, but. Hollison's a small school and like I feel like everyone knows everybody. <laughs> Alright class, listen up. As you know, your teacher isn't here today, so I'm going to be covering this class. Now I taught in the inner city for over five years, so don't even think about messing with me, okay? Alright, let's do attendance. Alright, Rion. We got a Rion. It's actually Ryan. Oh, so that's how it's going to be, Rion. You want to play games? I've got my eye on you, Rion. Okay. Robert! We got a Robert here. Robert! You got a question there, pal? It's actually Robert. Are you out of your mind, Robert? You want to go to war with me? No, sir. I'm for real. You better check yourself. All of you. Ava! Ava! Do you mean Ava? No, I mean Ava. Eva. Say your name correctly. Eva. Correctly. Eva. Correctly. Ava. That's better, thank you. All right, we got Jamez. Is Jamez here? Where is Jamez right now? Jamez, you better be dead or sick. Jamez, where are you at? Here. What took you so long, Jamez? You messing with me? My name's James. Oh, you done messed up now, Jamez. You take yourself down to Miss Archambolo's office right now. Do you mean Miss Archambolo? Oh, Archambolo, get out! All right, returning to business, Mikael. Present. Physical here. There's some pushing between Catalano and Merkin. It looks like Catalano gave him an extra shove after that ultimation as well. Definitely. And honestly, Lucas, I, I'm surprised that it didn't come to you. There's always a contest between them. As Merkin takes the deep three and he gets it. That's how he responds. And he gets the steal for a three again. Oh, yes. Wow. We are writing down history here. Wow! Holds it up 10 now with 3.37. Beautiful move by Goeb. Excellent rebound. Gets his own shot. He's trying to fight down there. And Goeb! We're hoping that it's going to happen for the Panthers as Gentile has the ball far side to Merkin. Weeman all over him as he kicks to a wide open. Dumas! And it's good. Bombs away for Caden Dumas. Jimmy on a beat. Shot clock at 10, they still have time. Rassinelli on the baseline and a score. Nikki Brown. Oh! 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 What an amazing oh! shot! Oh! That counts! What an amazing shot to make it safe. That door. That's an elbow oh, that's to the a, head. How is that not a how penalty? How is that not a penalty? It's an elbow right to the mouth. That was an elbow to the head. And the parents of Hollison love that for some reason. Oh, this door. That's just terrible. I can't see a damn thing, big one. I can't see a damn thing, big one. Right corner, it goes to six. They like Steven. Anthony 
Tony Touchette. The fifth at Lowell, fourth in the Austin. for letting us use her room for uh, just about anything. I think that's where we put key in inside the stuff there. Yeah. Okay, I'd shout out Mr. Bernstein, great teacher, and he also the leader of three sports teams. Um, oh, when I had pneumonia, Mrs. Uh, Maiku wrote me a note, and it was very nice. What is that? Uh, she said I'm her favorite student, so. She lied. Uh, she was telling the truth, probably by. The thing a teacher's ever done for me was uh, Miss Rivera. Um, it was finals week, the day of finals, but it was like a three-term class. We didn't have to take a final. She let our whole class go to her house without her and ice skate in her backyard because she had a rink. And it was probably like one of my favorite memories in school. Probably Miss Lang allowing me in her class like during all four periods of the day because it's the only class I really enjoyed being in. So I kind of just pull up there whenever. And she's done for you. Nicest thing a teacher has done for me. Um, I think it's got to be uh, Senora Trainer putting up with uh, all our antics for the past two years. Um, Mr. Rivera actually gave me shoes, currently wearing them. Um, wear them every day. That's so cute. thanks, Mr. That's Rivera, nice. and her daughter. Um, the clip. Like, it's so the clip. I'm going to say Miss Mayor, um, doing all my college stuff. Weeks ago, it was brought to my attention that you have to pay $50 to be in a club. I was not about to do that. So Miss Murphy pulled some strings for me, got me out of that fee for the yearbook. That was really nice. My name is Matthew Carter Dennison. I live on 104 Westfield Drive, Holliston, Massachusetts. To all school administration, this is not an admission of guilt. This is to the class of 2023 now. Guys, I'm leaving for DSB. Hi. I'm Will, and out of any teacher in the school, who would you pick to defend you in a, in a zombie apocalypse? That's a good question. I think Miss Mayor, maybe. She, maybe, I don't know. I don't know any of them that well. I feel like she wouldn't kill me or eat me, maybe. Interesting choice. Name an occupation. Mathematician. Name? Hannah. If you were in a zombie apocalypse, which teacher would you trust? Mrs. Rivera. Solid choice. What is your name and occupation? Elijah Patel. Occupation. <laughs> High school student. And what is your least favorite bottle of water? Nice. Nice bread. That's fair. Fair choice. I would say uh, Dasani might be Dasani? a better choice. I think that's a close second. Something's wrong with you, buddy. What do you mean? You like Dasani? What is your name and occupation? Oh, my name is Abner, and I'm a person. And what is your least favorite of the water? Um, Dasani. Juliana Abitrary. And what is your least favorite of the water? Dasani. There we go. <laughs> Senior year, when we all painted our parking spots, those were just two very fun days that we spent at the school. And no, I had a good time. I do go to Miss Bowker's class every day. She always lets me stay in there for as long as I want, so <laughs> I thank her for that. Probably the baby powder. I feel like oh, yeah, sitting I in agree. the baby powder. Well, they were like telling us it was bad. Oh for my us. gosh, yeah, that was. Yeah, fun. and then to throw a key. But I just think like the game. In my most memorable moment was um, the fight at the Ashland McDonald's. <laughs> Speaking of the Ashland game, after we won against Ashland, we went to Ashland McDonald's and um, we entered. We were just trying to get our food 
and this kid in the back was trying to like was throwing drinks at us. Someone, what was his name? Tiago. Tiago. Um, <laughs> called someone ugly. Yeah, and someone I threw so called me ugly. And he, he called, called me ugly. ugly. And I turned like around. Ugly as hell. I turned right yeah. around and I said, "You're ugly." <laughs> the guy was like, "I'll take another charge. I'm gonna beat." <laughs> and uh, my, my friend. Yeah. one of the like, imagine like you're in the McDonald's drive-thru and like one side it's like all of Ashland. The five of us on the other side near the cars. They're throwing and cups at us, the ice at the windshield. Words and inside. Get outside behind me and <laughs> spiked a drink at the back of my head. And I was like, oh my god. So my whole head was And so we left. Yep. Scurried away after right. there. That. Go ahead, Andre. It would have to be right now with the people I care about most in this room. Oh, Thank you, guys. I'll say, I'll say most memorable is probably to see all the football games. Me, Bob, and Dre here. Um, every Friday night, I was looking forward to it. That's Driving cool. around for DSB, like last year. That That's memorable. I would say it hasn't happened yet, but I know that me and Austin are hosting the Senior Showcase. I think that's going to be one to live in the video yearbook. Yeah. Portions of this video have been recently edited.
Um, shout out Dr. Duncan for just making class really fun. <laughs> shout out Coach Lamarck. Uh, now he's a teacher, so I guess it's Mr. Lamarck, but great coach, great teacher, great guy. Mr. Levesque. Same as Frost, and she grew quails in her room that were actually fake. I was pissed about that. She bought them on Amazon. She told me, Carolyn and Ava, that we could come in with aprons and that she was going to put a tent in her room and um, hatch the quails that she had been incubating in her room. But unfortunately, um, the quails were bought off Amazon and they were not fertilized, so no quails were ever born. And we couldn't carry them around with us, and it was really sad. But she's a homie, so. Miss Russell. Oh, I. That's Number one. Room. Yeah. <laughs> so I think Miss Rivera. Yeah. She's always like she always has her classroom open. And she's always there for us. Yeah. Yes. This is Mark. I want to shout out Profe Glenn. Oh. The second half of my sophomore class. year of Spanish really class. Good. All right. <laughs> um, I'd say Miss Rivera, obviously, but then there's a few other ones. Strummer, drummer, of course. Strummy baby. And then the history department. We got oh, a shout history. out, yeah. Mr. Bernie, Bernstein. Mr. White, Gregory, you know him. Greg and, and Joel. Greg and Joel. I think they have a bromance going on, but we love them. Too. We love them. <laughs> and then I think Sean Rooney can get Sean a little shout out in there, but just all of them. I think about Chief being the best teacher in the school. Actually, besides Miss Bowker. But Chief is number two, so. Shout out. I still have a shout out? Is well, I'm shouting out Miss Lang. Um, the nicest thing she ever did to me was the fact that she lets me go to her room every day, no matter what time of the day it is, and steal all of her mints. Um, she's also a pretty good business teacher, and she wrote my rec letter, so she pretty much did everything for me. She's probably the only teacher that I actually liked throughout all of high school, no offense. Damn. I didn't really connect with any of my other Shit. teachers like that. But That's fine. She was getting deep with it. Yeah. Miss Smith. Shout out to Smith. <laughs> yeah. um, Mr. Marsh for eight. Mr. Marsh, yeah, definitely for eight. Yeah. Um, and just like, Mr. Marsh. like any class, even if you don't have him as a teacher, it's just like, yeah. uh, the couch is always there. <laughs> yeah.
today's the day, gentlemen. There's two types of people in this world. There's champs and there's chumps. And we've been chumps for way too damn long. Here's the plan. Make sure you lock in, make sure you do your assignments. Any questions? What if we get caught, boss? What if we get caught? It's foolproof. We're not gonna get caught. Where's Mr. Blue? We need four guys for this. It's getting a prostate exam, boss. A prostate exam? Today is our day. Nothing can screw this up. Fine. No sign of the Eagle Boss. Over. Parking lot's clear. Over. Getaway vehicle is good to depart. Getaway car departing. office right now. You don't have to do that. Hey guys, what's up? What's happening? Can I help you? So when you're making pizza, most people want to microwave it, but then it tastes like rubber and the oven takes too long. So what you want to do is put it on a frying pan Add a little bit of oil, that's optional though, and then you want to just walk away. Just walk away, don't even look at it. And then when you come back, the crust is warm, but... The cheese isn't going to be melted. Exactly. So what you want to do is add maybe a teaspoon of water, that's it, and then quickly put the lid on the frying pan, and all that evaporation is going to melt the cheese. And just like that, the pizza's better the next day. Yum. Where are you supposed to be? Well, let's go! I'm not even going to ask what the hell you were doing in there.
will all be stories someday, and our pictures will become old photographs, and we'll all become somebody's mom or dad. But right now, these moments are not stories. This is happening. You are alive and you stand up and see the lights on the buildings and everything that makes you wonder. And you're listening to that song on that drive with the people you love most in this world. And in this moment, I swear, we are infinite. I can't believe we're done. I feel like we were just freshmen yesterday. No, I can't believe it's over. You know, guys, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop to look around once in a while, well, you might just miss it.
good season, but it looks like it's over now. We're never getting out of here. Well, boys, your time is up here. It's now time to say Arrivederci, au revoir, get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Come on. Come on, boys. Follow me. Single file, guys. We don't have to sell them a floor here. Let's go. This is your new home, guys. Welcome to your new home. Yo. Check out, yo.